everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor player and coach, current beach volleyball coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. It's a big moment today, you guys. We are starting season two. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the draft is in the books. I mean, yeah, that's, that's true, but we're starting a new chapter. That's true. I'm looking forward to it. Adam's prediction. We've been over it before. I think we're going to see the qualification tournament to go to the Spring Nationals. Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. um, and I think they're going to play Shirator Zawa in the final. TBD on how much better they get and if they can win or not. But that's... That was not your prediction like a day ago. What was my sure. prediction then? That they would lose. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, I think they'll lose. Adam doesn't remember his prediction, even if he repeats it 20 times. But he did think that they would lose to Shira Torres out. Anyways, today we are watching season two, episode one of Haikyuu called Let's Go to Tokyo. I wonder if we're going to see any training or if they're going to hop right into... Like, hey, here it is, this is what we did, head into the tournament. I guess we'll find out, because nobody's told me anything. Which is exactly the way we want it to be, and you are not getting any clues from me. So, let's dive right in. New season, new start here for us. Season two, episode one of Haikyuu is coming right now. memory? Nothing like a singular moment to galvanize you to train hard, especially when you're so close. The part that I loved is he was like, and I'm not going to do it alone. And because I'm not alone, we can overcome it. I'm curious to see if this is like a, just the two of them training or the team is coming or what the mentality is. You'll find out. Still, still grooving with the tip. Um. 
と面白いようにかかってくれるね。だとこら。まあまあ。Ooh, the jump flow. That deep breath, I love it. Ooh, little combo. That's new. No, yeah. Oh my gosh. Rolling <laughs> Sanda. Rolling Sanda. Oh, great up. It's a good pickup. Done! Nice. Seriously? Call your like, where's he going? <laughs> no, wow. Okay, I don't know about you, but it seems like they're just far more skilled than they were before in terms of like consistency, running different plays, the ball control looks better. Like I know it was only a couple points, but it's giving the impression that they have improved quite a bit. Is that accurate? Like are you getting the same impression or not? My impression watching it is that they've got that motivational hustle. Fair. Like they lost, they're like triple motivated and people are just going all out to make sure the ball doesn't hit the floor. That's what I am thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, they made some great connection plays. Like we've never seen Tanaka run the slide off of one foot. Um, they've got... You know, Hinata, I mean, he was running the like shoot set before, but like it was like a fader. Like, I just think I was noticing the players that weren't as noticeable in season one were like even all in. Like, intensity wise, just、mm -hmm. like, okay, that's fair. I guess I think back to, and I guess we didn't see many practices after they played, but it seems in practice you would see some errors like a pass that would go here or things that were off the net this all looked in system they looked like they were connecting really well suga's like hey he wants it a little higher he wants it here it just seemed more dialed in to me more importantly what did you think of asahi uh blowing the block up or calling for the set no did he get a haircut It does have something to do with his hair. Did、Why? you notice anything different? I honestly, I, I was watching the volleyball. Dang it! What, what did I miss? We will revisit this. <laughs> They're like stray dogs looking for some food. I guess we're playing one more. まだうち足りないまだでもまだいけるよな父さんあげてくれまだやんのかよお前ら自力は確実についてきてるしかしうちのチームに足りないのは経験外のチームの練習試合が全然足りねえ町内会は安定して人集まらねえしどうする<笑
the cat wrapped around his neck. <laughs> gotta keep the mascot close. あと、またしつこく頼んでくれたであろう先生にもな。僕はそんな理解監督のお名前あってこそで。ああ。そう、like この<笑><笑> ボイレンゴに殴り込みじゃ。シティボイレンゴ。いや、なんか熱い。熱いですよ。山本、どうせ。おう。まだお誘いをいただいている段階でして、いろいろ承諾をもらわないといけないことなど、細かいことは後々でお話しますね。とりあえず、みんなの意思は。もちろん。行きます。お、お、じゃあ僕これから職員会議なので行きますね。ゆ
Do you know who that was? That was the stud from Shiro Torozawa. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what's going on. <sighs> Haircut. Thank you. No oh, man, bud. Slight mullet. Let's go running. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. His eyes are terrifying. ガッザラのこたちならできる。やればできる。やれば。ポケダ先生。来たぜ。カラスの名物ハートブレイクヒル。<laughs> he not and Kageyama racing against each other? They have lots of practice. <laughs> They just scream and they run like all the time. Okay, question for you. Is he in the love house? Shocker. He's very attractive. Yeah, I know. His voice is just so deep, though. Like, there's no way he's in high school. What are you laughing at? I, I knew as soon as I saw him. Why? He's your type. What does that mean? Every single guy on this show, you're like, he's your type. I never said that. Almost everyone. No, not Hinata. You said it about Kageyama. And I was like, no. Anyways, he's very handsome. He looks much older than his age. Fair enough. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he made the national team. The yeah. junior national team. Question for you. Kind of switching gears. Oh. But, I mean, he was clearly the best player. That was the impression that I got from the, like, everything you saw in season one. That he okay. was just head and shoulders better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. So I'm not surprised that he made the national team. Or the junior national team. Okay. Um, the hill running. I was going to ask you what your college equivalent was. Like, what was the conditioning that you're like, ugh. Um, stadium sprints. So, like, running up the stairs in the football stadium. Or gassers. They used to make us, sometimes it was the 50 yard line and back, and sometimes it was the entire field and back. Like multiple times. Um, 
there were girls that would legitimately barf on the bleachers in the football stadium. Cause like where I went to school, it was like an 80,000 person stadium. So this, it just went forever and girls would just be barfing everywhere. <laughs> not me though. Never barfed? I never barfed. I'm not a barfer when I work out. You know, there's some people who when they reach their limit, they just like, their body just gives up and they barf. See, that just, means, that. that just means you've pushed past your limit. I don't like the implication that you're making that I don't work that hard because it's just not accurate. <laughs> it's called Ooh. being in really good shape. Ah, uh, got it. Got it. I'm just teasing you. I know you don't barf. I have nothing to say. I know that nobody has knows or not who's telling the truth. So I'm just like, just believe me. I mean, no, you don't. You don't barf, and you definitely work hard. I'm just, I just make fun of you for that. But I have done hill runs before. Yeah. During COVID, I did them a lot. That's true. We did them together. Yeah. What was your equivalent? We had a set of stairs that ran up the escarpment. What's an uh, escarpment for so people who don't know? It's, I guess it's like a, a massive hill. It was formed by the glaciers. It's kind of unique to where we grew up, I guess. But it's basically a cliff. Yeah. Like it's just like a flat. Vertical. Piece of sedimentary rock, pretty much. That as the glaciers came through and made the Great Lakes, just left this like slab. <laughs> Oh, that was actually a really good explanation. But there's a set of like stairs that run all the way up and so we used to do like sets of stairs. So you do like your plyometric training to begin up a few flights and then it was like up and back until you couldn't go anymore. So I, I definitely barfed a few times. Yeah, you're a barfer. Yeah. Anyway, I was just, I just saw that and I was curious what yours was. Ooh, got it. Like, look at that chiseled jaw. And he just calls him Japan. Yeah. <laughs> what? <gasps> That's like That's like... You're just slow! <laughs> Can't take those two anywhere. Ooh. 
<laughs> He's smiling, I swear. Concrete of Shin, Hinata Shoyos. Torazawa's mask was the eagle, or I, I can't. I figured. <sighs> Kermit. <laughs> we'll be going now. to see I like that interaction. I'm he not a show yo from the concrete. Yeah. I like that a lot. I got chills. Yeah. I I like I mean it's kind of their their first years, they're full of all of this swagger. They they've gotten so much better. They were so close to beating Seijo. You just have this like 
undefeatable spirit when you're like just starting and you just see what's ahead of you. Like you don't know any better. I don't you know even I mean? think, and for me, I don't even think that's it. He was like being so demeaning to them and like, you know, just saying such bad things about Oikawa and Seijo and basically saying that Oikawa carries the whole team and if like you can't like make something from nothing and so like yeah I think it's normal to take that personally that's a huge insult and then his response like okay well if we're if they're in fertile soil then what are we concrete and just to like stand and look him in the eye and be like hey this is who I am from the concrete watch yourself like Ugh. yeah no I, I'm saying. I don't think it's like being naive and young and whatever and full of confidence it's just like you were rude <laughs> fair I, I I hear you but like do you not think that he's like out of their league right now completely like they haven't they haven't seen that team they haven't seen anybody better than Sejo like I don't get the sense he not especially like has no idea how good like the top teams are he's he exists in his in his bubble okay that's fine but then it begs the question if you are super skilled, if you're really talented, if you're really good, if you're a part of a winning tradition, does that give you a free pass to say whatever you want and treat people however you want? No. So? Do you, okay, so let me ask you this. Did that interaction come across to you as being malicious or just like factual? It's hard for me to like be unbiased in my answer because I've seen further ahead. Okay, fair enough. So I, I don't disagree with you. Like I would never say that to anybody else. But at the same time, it just kind of seemed like monotone and just like, we're really good. You lost to somebody we hammered. Like you're not really on my radar. And that's fine whether it is just like I'm just spewing facts with no emotion attached to it or not as as somebody that's receiving that information, it can come across as inflammatory. A hundred percent. I'm not going to disagree with you on that. Like I, I think back to when I was that age, if someone had said that to me and I didn't, I would have been like, Oh yeah, go screw yourself on a show. I would have had that exact same reaction. So, but it was just like, yeah. And Shoyo doesn't really have, you're right, the like experience to be like, hey, Ushijima, I'm gonna beat you. But then Kageyama stepping in and being like, if Oikawa is the best setter in the prefecture, I'm gonna pass yeah, him by. That, like, that was cool. Yeah. I just, I have just envisioned you being on the, like, Nebraska campus, walking down, and what was a small college from, from Nebraska that was near you? I don't know, like, Doan. <laughs> like, some, some kid from Doan, first year running up, going, see you at the tournament. And, like, what your... No, but that <laughs> stuff has happened in my life. The difference is, I would never look at those people and, like, scoff oh. at them or laugh. I'd be like... Okay, you know? Yeah, fair, <laughs> like, fair enough. Fair enough. Anyways, that line. That I'm from the. I'm gonna show you yeah. from the concrete. Like, that's, that's a t shirt line. Yeah, put that on a t shirt, baby. ただ、来月になったら期末テスト<笑><笑> 
その補修が週末に行われる遠征には行けないから Takeda coming in, throwing down the gauntlet. Do you think do you think they're actually not allowed to go if they fail, or do you think he's knows how to motivate them? Adam. What? It's Japanese high school. It's a hundred percent true. Okay. They were like not gonna let the third years they were like, hey you guys. You're in your third year. You probably shouldn't play volleyball anymore because of the, your grades and your future. Fair enough. Like, it's a hundred percent true. The concerning thing is that the four people who had the teardrops on their heads were Noya, Tanaka, Kageyama, Hinata, four starters. Did I didn't get a good look at the papers? Did they have like bad marks on them? Do we have any inkling of what their School proficiency currently is. Um, we didn't see marks, but the names on the two papers that we saw were Noya and Tanaka. I can see those two. So I can see those two not being good in school. Kageyama not doing well in school would kind of surprise me, just because he's that like personality. And Hinata, bit of an airhead. <laughs> I <laughs> wouldn't shock me if he wasn't doing great. Um, we don't have like details or specifics. But I mean, by but the look on Takeda's four... face, when he was looking at the papers, was one of a bit of panic. Yeah, yeah, he was talking himself off the ledge there. Um, so the biggest question going into episode two is, will the boys be allowed to leave campus? Can we talk about Hinata getting street cred for knowing the hot third year? Always a boost. He'll be very popular with those boys. For sure. For knowing <laughs> Kyoko. Um, I just thought that was funny. I love that they kind of sprinkled in a little sheer Torizawa intel there. Um, so that struck me as like a posh, what we would call like a private school or a... Like, because it was, the facilities were gorgeous. Very nice. Yeah. But I don't know what the school system is like in Japan. Are there private schools? Are they all public? What's the... Yeah, anyway, it just seemed Tell different. Tell us. Give me the details. I know I'll get them. You, I looked at you at one point and you didn't even blink when Kageyama was like, oh, I applied here and I was rejected. We knew that, didn't we? We knew that he applied. I don't know if they named the school that he didn't get into. We knew that he applied somewhere and didn't get in, but I don't think... I'm not sure they said where. Oh. I had just assumed he would have applied to the best volleyball school. That was... just seemed like on brand for him. Well... There you go. <laughs> uh, overall, very solid season opener. Yes, yeah, a good setup episode. Yeah. You're gonna see, they're gonna, they're gonna play that team at some point. Um, setting the standard of who's the best and where you have to go to get where you want to go. Um, and showing their motivation and how yeah. badly they were motiv like wanting it after losing to Seijo. Yeah, so overall, for me, very nice start. Yeah, I liked it. Um, we asked a few questions. We always ask a few questions because you guys have the answers. Sure. So please let us know in the comments below. As always, I would be so happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned because we're rolling through season two again next week. Bye!